This is without a doubt the best speech he ever gave. In fact, this, year. this should have been his inaugural address. I feel like tonight Donald Trump became the president of the United States. Not many forget, uh, unforgettable moments in State of the Union or State of the Union style addresses. This was certainly one uh, that we'll all remember for a long time. Well, there you have it. Fox people widely praising President Trump's address. One of them said it was his best ever. It was indeed upbeat, positive, and he talked about the renewal of the American spirit. What's wrong with that? Mark Thiessen is with us, American Enterprise Institute scholar. Mark Thiessen is the guy who wrote at least two State of the Union speeches for George W. Bush. So, what's your assessment of President Trump's speech last night? Yeah, I agree with uh, Charles Krauthammer and others who have said this is the best speech that Donald Trump ever gave. But more than that, this just wasn't a, this wasn't just a great speech for Donald Trump. This was a great speech. This was one of the best uh, addresses to Congress that any president has ever given. And wh why is that? Because it was hopeful. It was optimistic. He laid out a positive vision for where he wants to take the country. He explained, he didn't just say make America great again. He explained how we will make America great again. He used the, the, the technique, which I thought was brilliant, of citing our 250th anniversary uh, of our independence is coming up. And what kind of America do we want to be on that anniversary? And then he laid out the answers. And most importantly, uh, Stu, what he did was he reached out to the other side and said, quote, let's join forces in this effort, unquote. He reached out to the Democrats and said, Let's work together to replace Obamacare, to reform, uh, to reform uh, our, uh, the, the FDA so that we can speed the development of drugs, so we can revitalize our inner cities and fix immigration and all these different problems. And well, when you do that, when you reach out your hand, if they don't take this hand, they look small exactly. and petty and partisan. It's a brilliant, brilliant strategy. It's what he should have been doing for the past month, but he's gotten there, and it's great. You're right that the president put him on the spot. If you don't respond yeah. positively to that kind of positive outreach, what are you going to do? You have to rethink your strategy, I think. Um, uh, maybe they will do that. But I've got another one for you, Mark. Treasury Secretary sure. Steve Mnuchin, he says tax reform could come by August. Roll tape. Our objective is to pass tax reform by the August recess. And I think that's a very aggressive timetable, but realistic and something that the President and I are very committed to doing. So by August, voted, done, agreed. And signed. Uh, that's interesting. Voted on, done, and signed. Now, I think that's a fairly optimistic schedule. You know more about Washington politics than I do. <laughs> what do you make of signed by <laughs> August? There's no reason why it can't be done, and I think, quite frankly, it's very important to do it as quickly as possible. And the same thing with Obamacare replacement, because what you'll find is you need, when he's, he's going to be running for re-election in four years, he needs these reforms to be in place right away so that by the time he's running for re-election, we feel it in the economy. We feel the changes. We want people to see that their, ta that their economy is getting better, that more jobs are out there, the tax reform is working. We wanted them to see that their health care is getting better. So it's really important to do it fast. And when it comes to, to tax reform, the the reality is he doesn't need the Democrats on tax reform. He can do it on reconciliation with 51 votes. It would be better to do it with the Democrats. George W. Bush got one quarter, one quarter of the Senate Democrats to vote for his tax plan because it's more lasting. And, and this, is the, the, this, this is why what he said last night in the State of the Union was so important, is that when you reach out to the other side, and if they take your hand and work with you, that's great. Then what you do is going to be more lasting. The reason Obamacare is failing is because it was done on party, party line votes that didn't take into account the, uh, any effort at bipartisan consensus. It, he shouldn't repeat that mistake. But if they, won't take his, if they won't take his hand, at least on taxes, not on Obamacare, but on taxes, he can do it himself. Okay, it seems like investors share your point of view and share the point of view of Steve Mnuchin because we've got a rip-roaring rally going on here. I'm sure you've seen it, Mark. Now we're up 263 points. This is the Trump rally. And the bottom line is, investors believe, yeah, we'll get that tax cut this year, as you have just suggested. Are you an investor, Mark Thiessen? A little bit, yes. Not, not, I don't uh, look at the ticker every day, but I've got some investments, yes. Well, let's see that big smile as we close out today, Mark Thiessen, because I got news for you, lad. <laughs> Mark, it's straight up. Mark, thank you very much the for joining us. The kids are going us, to college, Stu. <laughs> Thanks, Donald yeah, See Trump. you later. <laughs>